Hey everyone, RJ here with CV Tech, and today I'll be unboxing the Kodak Extra. Found it for a pretty good price, so I went and picked it up. Also, came with it this uh, case and everything here from Kodak as well, as well as a screen protector. So I will put this to the side for a moment. Go ahead and look at the phone here. So it comes in this really nice little uh, Kodak looking box and everything. Go ahead and pull off the top up here. Okay, got this little flap here and the smartphone, of course, right here. Let's go ahead and dump this out here and set it to the side for a moment. We'll see what else comes in this box. So taking all of this here out, we have a micro USB type C charging cable right there, as well as the wall adapter there. And it looks like we have the Kodak limited warranty, as well as the Kodak extra getting start guide and your sim tool right there so we'll go ahead here and put all this stuff back in the box and uh, we'll come back soon okay so now we'll go ahead and slide this hair off here and look at this massive case okay that's a nice looking case though it's black and red and this unsnaps here and the phone sits down in there just like that right there and so it pretty much gives this phone full protection here and you also get this Big old strap right here as well. So we'll go ahead and put this here to the side here. Put this down on the floor. And let's look at the phone. Now this phone here uh, has everything right here. Of course, get your volume rocker here. Volume up, volume down. Got your power button here and your camera shutter button there. Uh, micro USB type C charge there. And it says Kodak Extra, your SIM micro SD right there as you see. And it's right there on this side right here so pretty thick phone as you can see right there appears your headset jack and secondary mic of course back here is your uh is the big 21 megapixel camera here with a flash and let's go ahead and pull this here off and that feels really grippy really nice right there and it has a rear speaker down here so kind of nice it has a little a little bump there when you set it down that is actually exposing the speaker so it's not completely covered up to where you can actually be able to hear it ring and down here of course is your microphone and all your buttons there like i mentioned there on the side now this might be a little bit of a of a downside because you know having a windshield mount stuff like that these buttons might get in the way been kind of nice if you had put some buttons over here as well instead of all on one side especially this power button here would have been nice if it, had been, if it had been up here somewhere instead of right here in the middle right in the way so anyway let's go ahead and give this one its first boot up and see if it's got any charge in it um first off though got the front camera here as well as your receiver we'll go ahead and pull off this protector and now we'll give it its first boot up. So a little bit of vibration there. And there you see Kodak powered by Android. Your back home and recents button is right here as well. So I like the way the phone is made. It's kind of awkward though holding it. That's kind of nice. So yeah, uh, it's kind of awkward holding because that because of that bump back there and this camera back here is really big. And uh, I wonder how to, if it'll scratch a lot. I don't know. I got a cover over it right now, but. Uh, watch and see what happens there. So right now, it's getting started up. So I'll get it all set up, and I'll come back when it's finished. Okay, everyone. So we're set up now and ready to go. Got your uh, home screen here, and got your drop down here, of course. Let's go ahead and look around here. Got your uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, airplane mode, flashlight. You can cast your screen. Let's see how bright the rear flash is. So the rear flash is not very bright, but hey, at least it's got one. Really nice to see that there. And got your brightness up here as well. Now there's nowhere here to edit that I can see. Let's go ahead and go into settings here. And got your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, data usage, and more here. Got your NFC. So it does have NFC. Really nice. Tethering and port portable hotspot. Uh, got uh, your display. So display shows clear motion, video, fluency, enhancer, mirror vision. You also have uh, that brightness. And of course here you also have your daydream font size so you can cast your screen. You have sound notifications, you got apps and storage. So you have uh, 22.96 gigabytes available out of 32 and 312 has already been used out of that for the application. So back out of here, go into the battery. Now, 
I'm not sure what size battery this phone has got, honestly. I like this little button right here. Shows the battery percentage up top. It's always really nice. You got standby intelligent power saving mode there as well. And you also have memory. This phone has three gigabytes of RAM. So this phone has got three gigabytes of RAM, 30 gigabytes of storage, and I think it runs the uh, Helio P20. MediaTek processor, not really too sure about that. I have to verify that. And I think this is a five inch HD display. I don't think it's full 1080, but uh, still looks pretty nice anyway. Got tap and pay there. Location, security, accounts. There's no fingerprint scanner on this device. Got your about phone here. And this phone does run Android 6.0 Marshmallow. So no nougat here, nothing like that, but uh, maybe it'll get it, maybe it won't. Who really knows? Uh, back out of here again. Go back home, go into the phone dialer here, and it's going to be just a typical phone dialer as you see on all phones. Message in here as well. Start up a new conversation. And, of course, here is your messages here. Uh, Gboard with all your emojis. Let's go into camera for a minute. Now, of course, here's where everything, you know, this is what this phone is for, is the camera. It's got a bunch of stuff right here. Now, of course, I can't really demonstrate everything in this video here because there's just too much to tell. But you got a wheel down here that's pretty cool. You can you got smart auto here, manual mode, you got HDR mode. You can't really see that there. That's kind of kind of cover the camera up a little bit there. There we go. You got HDR mode, you got landscape, you got portrait mode, micro mode, sport mode, night mode, bokeh effect, uh, panorama, video, smart auto, and back to manual and all like that. Let's go ahead and go ahead and go into video here for a minute. Kind of interested to see what kind of settings and all is in here for this going up here. Now video quality, you're able to record in 4K, full 1080, 720p, and QCIF. You got quick motion on or off. You got geotagging, show grid, flash on or off, uh, shutter sound, use volume key as everything, shutter or whatever. You can also change right here from 4K, 1080p, 720, all like that. Front facing camera here. Let's see how it looks. Now, front-facing camera looks pretty solid here on my end. And also, has autofocus here on the front camera, which is really nice. And so, let's go up here to the uh, settings of here again. This has got a 13-megapixel front-facing camera. Really nice stuff there. Uh, smile shutter, timer, all that kind of stuff. I mean, a lot of stuff here going with this device. Let's go ahead and go into video mode here. And got a bunch of stuff here. Bokeh, fade, all, kind of, all that kind of cool stuff. Video here. So... One thing is this thing has a max recording of only 480p. Now, it makes me kind of wonder why Kodak on a phone that's supposed to be so camera oriented would have put only a 480p video camera in the front. Uh, I never understood that, but you know, oh well, we'll have to see how that works out and everything. There's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff going on with this camera. Can't get into it all in this video here, but it's just a first look and uh, first impressions here of the Kodak Atra. You know, so far seems pretty nice, pretty nice in the hand and everything. So I'm gonna continue to use this phone here, set it every, set everything up and try it out uh, and all that kind of cool stuff. Highly doubtful I'll use this case very much because this thing right here is huge. So it was nice that it came with it anyway. But uh, anyway, if this was helpful and informative and you enjoy seeing this unboxing, hit that like button. Any questions or comments you may have, leave it below and I'll get back with you as soon as possible. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I'd appreciate it. Y'all have a good one and we'll see y'all in the next video.